there is, first of all, the aspect where Marilyn and Tanya and I um, went to the Aboriginal community of Edmonton and, and asked people, would you like to submit a poem about Aboriginal women and our experiences? And then from those, we workshopped poems and we selected a body of text, which will be anthologized, and then we selected further some texts to make stage show. And the third part of the project is an installation that's at City Hall until tomorrow afternoon. And that is all based on the theme of shawls. You might have noticed we're all wearing these fancy stage shawls. We'll talk about them more too during this conversation. But we, we thought that they really showed something about women's work, about making, making things new out of old things. These are all recycled materials. And we thought that they said something about beauty. So for my piece, you can sort of guess from what the ladies have said so far, that what we're trying to do is open up what people know about Aboriginal women in Edmonton. Because people still don't know a lot. There are a lot of people in this city who belong to the people who have been here for thousands of years. But still, when you look at the mainstream media, and when you just talk to people on the street, there's a lot of ignorance, and there's a lot of um, stuff that people who should know better, like myself, go around with these unchecked thoughts in our heads that a real Indian looks like this, a real Indian acts like this, a real Indian does these things only. But my grandmothers and my grandfathers, specifically my grandmothers in this piece, are an inspiration for me. Because they guide us, they, they've learned how to live off the land, they've learned how to care for our children, they've learned what, is, what are our values, They've learned through thousands of years of passing from one generation to the next knowledge and they continue to pass that on. And so I continually look to them, to my ancestors and the values that are conveyed to me by my family in order to, uh, to know how to behave in the world. And so yeah, I'm honoring I... the homeless native women, kind of, in my poem, or I'm trying to. Uh, because I see so much beauty in them, despite the fact that they're ravaged by alcoholism and things like that. Just after the rebellion, the Real Rebellion in Saskatchewan, there was a lot of animosity towards uh, Métis and uh, First Nations people in the area. Uh, partly that had to do with ideas that Aboriginal people were standing in the way of progress. Therefore, they had to be moved out of the way so we could have you know, this development. So this is why uh, Elizabeth Brass Donald went and had her photograph snapped in front of Frank Oliver's house. So she's a woman that really inspired me because the first time I saw her photograph, I recognized the look in her eye. And the look in her eye was the look that uh, many of my female uh, relatives um, had and that and that look was one of uh, tenacity and survival and um, and I also I love the fact that she made a political statement by going and standing in front of Frank Oliver's house. Best heed our Indian shaped stagger. You never know who's got our backs. We be straight up street warriors, gangsta, Nietzsche family, mothers, sisters. Daughters. Woo! Goosebumps. There's a goosebumps. White house, white skin, white. The title shawl was designed and, and made by Marilyn Dumont. As you can see, it uh, kind of pulls the whole exhibit together. White house, white skin, white life, white clothes, white house, white skin, white life. White clothes, white house, white skin, white life, white clothes, white house, white skin, white life, white clothes, white house, white skin, white life. Can we try that one one more time? Let's try it one more time. I think it's coming together. I, I still have to learn my lines, but but I know I'll do it. It'll be good. It's a real stretch for me with uh, the singing, the performing, the memorizing, the being in public, doing my poetry. Um, my parents are coming down, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I am not. 
Wonska. My mind comes every which way before my feet hit the floor. The land she came from. Free woman crow. Crow woman crow. Black shiny bird woman crow and caw. Those who command you, go back to the land you came from. No fronting, you know where it's at. Drunken Indian kokum spirits. If all these people weren't staring, I would straight lose it. Break right down, right here, on your pristine white avenue sidewalk, and forever cry. White, white clothes, white, white house, house, white, white skin, skin, white life. I wear my newfound heritage like, like a too tight, tight dress. Reject my greed, my need, my need to know my, my past. past. Is to Skylar, and she, like an arrow, a hawk wing singing, sharp arc lancing. I wanted the world. <laughs>